we're back for the fifth time trying this out again. I ran into kind of a weird problem with this challenge uh, that I've never encountered before and that I could not find its MAC address and I'll go over how I solved that for you. So here we are. Um, put this in the background. We have our SGI set up directly connected to the Mac via USB to serial and that's running over behind me to the console port of the challenge server it's booted up I'm in the prom um, I have two SCSI disk drives one is a spinning disk that came with it it's SCSI 0 2 and this one is my 16 gig um, flash drive from SCSI to SD that I've installed in there and I also just realized that it is actually 32 gigs and I shouldn't have sized it at 16 uh, but we'll just go through this and do a setup and uh, FX partition with the way it is and I'll come back later and make it 32 gigs okay so that's the one window here this other window is my booterizer window and uh, when booterizer first runs it goes and gathers all the disks and downloads them from AWS, uh, extracts them, puts them in, in the folder, gets everything ready, and then it gives you this nice little list of paths that you're going to use to set up a partition and install IREX on your machine. Um, I also just have a terminal. I'll get rid of this. I don't need it. And I have a couple of just text files that I'm going to use for various notes for some things. I already cut and pasted this here and um, I'm going to do a boot P, but the first thing I noticed right away is that there is no Ethernet. Uh, if I do H-I-N-V-T, I can see my Ethernet card is there. When I plug it in, I can see that it gets link, but print ENV shows no Ethernet address. Uh, to do it on an old system, you do EADDR. That doesn't work. Print ENV EADDR should show it on a new system, and it's empty. I don't know what that is all about. Um, so I'll show you how I found it, and then I need to set my net address. There is a command just to make sure I wasn't doing anything to like reset the entire environment back to standard values. I did that. I have turned off and on the machine and the, there's no Ethernet address coming up in uh, print INV. So let me first set my net address 192.168.251.41 that is set. Durations here I am setting up, this one is, oh. oh my goodness, what are you doing right over here? Uh, I'm setting up 98 is the bootriser VM client IP and then the MAC address which I didn't have and so what I did is I forced Booterizer uh, to do a boot P while I watched sorry I forced the SGI to do a boot P while I watched Booterizer and you can do that since H India or Vagrant Machine And then you basically uh, you can check the IP address. This is 98, which is what I expect it to be. Um, you tail this var log daemon log, and you're basically going to see uh, any uh, boot p requests that come along. So what I basically did is I forced this to do a boot p to try to boot, um, which it wasn't able to do. And you'll see in a minute. Right there, 
this basically gave me my MAC address, even though I couldn't see it from the prom. So taking this and going back, putting it inside of client ether, and settings YAML, saving this file, and then you have to reprovision booterizer, which I didn't show you on here, uh, but when you reprovision it, it's super fast because it knows that it grabbed all the disks and it just skipped over those. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to see... No, it didn't have it there, but trust me. I reprovisioned it, and all right. my baud rate is, is correct. Uh, okay, we're going to do the boot P again and repartition that drive since it's now 64 gigs. Go back in here, controller zero, drive one. Huh. What did this? Okay. Ah, okay. Boy, I'm having some problems today. Why is it on two? I have no idea. Okay. That's on two. Uh, drive ID two, and I want to repartition it. It has that old 16 gig partition on there. I want it as a root drive. XFS. Blow away whatever's on there. Now I can see, yep, there's my 30 gigs there. I'm fine with that. And so I can, uh, pretty much done with that label now. I can exit. I'm going to go in here. I'm going to go in here. Yes, because it is 0, 02 and that one is 1.1. One one. Okay, so set system PAR partition DKSC. 0.2.8 set environment Set those up. Now I want to run inst. Install the system software. Remote directory 192.168.251.98. That is the VM here. And then I want to go to 6.522 overlay disk 1 dist. That is the path. Return to start. Copying it. Found it. You can see, oh, there it goes. Look. It's grabbing all these different ones. Disk SA. Disk SA. So it's copying the standalone installer. Now we just wait for this to load up. It will be on inst. You're going to see how fast it is to do this on inst. It's a little while to load this over the network at uh, a regular Ethernet speeds. There goes the mini route. I 
Here comes the mini root booting. Some weird stuff, I have no idea. Controller zero, target one, that is... Probably because nothing's been on that drive, so it's freaking out. Let's make a real route on this drive. Yes, yeah, so there's nothing on it that we want to keep. Uh, this is 512. I'm going to call this challenge. 192, 168, 251, 41. This is my network address. And it's 255, 255, 255, 0. That is right. Gonna do some networking. It's nice doing this on the Mac. I can see a network statistic so that I know it's pulling something across. And here we go, there's inst. We're now running inst, and now the beauty of Booterizer with its selection files. So we can go into, it's going to be admin. And there is this uh, load selections from file. 15, oh, no more. 15. The file is. Does he print it out? No. Oh. It's normally just 192, 168, 251, 98. Selections. Alright, except it's not. Let's see where it is. If we go back over to the host here, we're going to become root. We're going to go into IREX. It is selection, so I'm just not doing it right. Let's see. Oh, could not load selection file. That didn't look right. I did this right before. Uh, I think it's this. Am I gonna have to go look? Ah, oh, there it goes. Boom. Okay. So here's what it just did. Since I'm on this host, I can cat selections. And you can see what Booterizer did for me is create this file based upon all the disk that I had pulled down. So I have overlay, foundation, development, NFS, apps, and MIPS Pro, which is commented out because uh, you'll see later you need to add this after you install and reboot. But look how beautiful that is. All those things have been selected for me, so when I'm back over here, I can just say, no, I don't want to see anything. It's going to go through all the selection files. They're all done for me. I don't have to do anything except hit no, so I'm not interested in reading all the documentation. This step alone takes a ton, a ton of time. You want the feature stream. Done. It selected everything for me. Return back to the main menu. You do a keep. Everything. You do install standards. He says, keep and complete overlays. All right. You got to remove two things. 
Java Dev, which is not going to do you any more good these days for the version of Java that's on here. And then I plug in. Now I also have something where it says install prereqs. I should say there are none. You check for conflicts. Uh huh. Let's see. Oh, graphics board. Okay, yep. Yeah. This incompatible, sure. I don't have any graphics, so. Does that do it? Yeah. Uh, I thought I got rid of that. SGI meeting software. Okay, no conflicts, we're ready, and then quit. Watch how fast this is. It's very fast on this network. Uh, with Booterizer, this time you'd have to sit there and wait for CD-ROMs to load, plus you'd have to swap the CD-ROMs. Not with Booterizer, it's gonna go to town. It's done. Ah, everything was six and quit. Everything's good. I will quit. And it's gonna restart these guys, which also takes a little bit of time. 
which I will again fast forward through. And then we should be ready to boot in. Finally. I didn't even notice it. Okay, automatically reconfiguring and I'm ready to restart. Yes, I am. Here we go. And challenge is restarting. We should see. Uh, here we go. Some stuff coming back up here now from the prom. change anything on that it might have been some reconfiguration let's see if it's going to start uh, that looks good and the SD card is flashing not sure that doesn't look good One one zero. Ethernet card. Oh, there we go. There is my boot up. All from Booterizer. It's all right. It's still got its network address. If I move this guy over here, and thank you, Booterizer. I'll start a new window. I should be able to tell that. There it is. Root. There we go. A little bit faster. back took a little bit of time I'm gonna to have to find out what the error is boot up it might need to be cleaned up and I might need to move them some different slots but um, it's very interesting that it started X and X manager so I should be able to remotely log in with X windows on this even though there's no graphics I'll have to see if that works but the system is up the right date. Wrong time zone still. But uh, that's not bad. Ah. Okay. Thank you, Booterizer. We are done here. And I uh, hope you have a chance to use this amazing program. You saw how easy it was for me to install all these things, automatic selections, automatic build, I just had to wait for the physical time to load all that across the network. I didn't have to swap one CD-ROM.